everybody. Welcome back to Cocktail Corner. Uh, today we're going to be making a Stardust cocktail. This is a tequila cocktail. It's a little bit uh, strange. It's a tequila and cocoa cocktail. So uh, yeah, um, it uses cream de cacao in it. We have uh, water pocket cacao and rum that we're going to use in ours and we're going to see how that goes. Uh, Water Pocket is a local distillery that we love to use and we try as much to feature their stuff if we can. And so we're going to we're going to give it a go today and see how it turns out. Uh, I've not had this cocktail yet. I saw it on another YouTube channel and I thought it looked amazing, so we're going to give it a try and see what we can do. Uh, it is a shaking cocktail, but before we do that, I'm getting ahead of myself a little bit. We're going to uh, do an absinthe rinse on our glass. Um, the absinthe is going to help uh, bring a lot more herbal flavors out of the drink um, that will help with the tequila. Uh, it's just, I really enjoy absinthe rinse drinks, and I think that's what kind of caught my eye on this one to begin with. So, uh, we're going to use Holy Stone Distilling Absinthe. This is the uh, absinthe that's made here locally in Utah. It's the only one right now that's being made um, and it's really tasty as well. So we're going to do just a little bit here to rinse our glass. Turn the glass, get it all over. There's any in the bottom. Let's we'll hit that back. We don't waste here. So, ooh, that's good. We'll set that off to the side for now, um, just to chill for us for a minute. And then uh, we're going to put in our shaker glass, we're going to start with a Reposado tequila. This is a Fortaleza. Uh, any Reposado tequila will work. Fortaleza is really tasty. So, we're going to use that. Uh, and this is an ounce and a half. To that, we're going to add an ounce of our uh, creme de cacao or our uh, cacao and rum. To this, we're also going to add an ounce of heavy cream. This is going to add a lot of body to the drink, make it really nice and fluffy. and a half an ounce of cinnamon syrup. Uh, now we're gonna add some ice to our shaker and give it a good shake, so. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and go right into our coupe glass here. Um, so because of the cream, I expect this is gonna be a little bit of a frothy, kind of foamy drink. Uh, so I'm gonna double strain it. I don't know that that's necessary. It's not in the original recipe, but I like a good, thick, foamy drink, so. Right, and then our garnish for this is either the original recipe calls for a star anise pod. Uh, but we don't have any. Uh, I think a good substitute for that is just some nutmeg ground over the top. So we're going to do that. We'll just.
a little bit of some grated nutmeg. Get rid of some of this stuff. Uh, yeah. So now we have a Stardust. Um, like I said before, I haven't tried this drink before, so we're gonna experience this together. So yeah, let's give it a give it a taste. It smells like nutmeg. Wow, that's really tasty. Um, wow, I don't even know how to like describe that one. The tequila is really bold, um, but it's chocolate tequila with spice, like heat almost uh that must be the cinnamon coming through but uh it's it's so good it's so spicy and chocolatey it's like candy almost that's so that is a very good drink i really enjoy that i'm glad that we made that um it's very thick the mouthfeel is silk almost uh that is a very easy and fun drink to have. Uh, yeah, I like that a lot. Uh, I hope you guys give it a try. Uh, as always, we thank you guys for watching. Uh, hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, leave us some comments if you like or don't like what we're doing. And we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks.